Hey everyone, and welcome to another Game of Thrones Season 8 video, and today we have some really juicy spoilers to talk about concerning Game of Thrones Season 8, Episode 4, and two of my favorite characters in the Song of Ice and Fire series, Jamie Lannister and Brienne of Tarth. This video does contain spoilers, so enter at your own risk. As we know, Game of Thrones Season 8 is still filming, and over the past few weeks we've been getting more and more information concerning the battles at Winterfell, the Night King possibly adding more to his army, and today the news of Game of Thrones Season 8 Episode 4, which features some very interesting information about the reunion of Jaime Lannister and Brienne of Tarth. According to Luca from Watchers on the Wall, Las Rellenos, according to their trusted sources, saw Nikolai and Gwendolyn on set for one night of night shooting. But that's not all. They also found out that a sequence of aerial shots were being filmed in Episode 3 concerning the Night King and his army as they are advancing through the snow amid lit bonfires. And by this point, right in the mid-season, the Army of the Dead will be composed by Wildlings and Brothers of the Night's Watch. But that's not all. Here's the juicy part. In episode 4, Brienne and Jamie come in and they will be fighting side by side against the army of the dead. So this is finally crazy everyone. The two swords that once formed the sword ice, the ancient Valyrian steel sword of the house Stark, will be doing battle against the White Walkers and the Night King in Game of Thrones season 8. So Brienne and Jamie are going to be fighting together. And I also thought that Jamie and Brienne would reunite before the Battle for the Dawn, but this news suggests that it will go much further than that. And the fully bearded Jamie Lannister, that's right, he's got a full beard for Game of Thrones Season 8, will be fighting for his life and his loved ones. Yes, he does love Brienne of Tarth. I totally ship Brienne and Jamie, as should you. Now, this scene supposedly takes place near the mammoth Meg Harrenmore Quarry, so it's possible that this battle in the North is actually the battle in Winterfell. We always knew that the North would matter as much as King's Landing when it was all said and done at the end of the show. The idea of them fighting together, having forged vows to protect the children of Catelyn and Ned Stark really, really excites me. But we know that Jamie lost his sword hand, so it's safe to assume we won't be getting the same legendary Jamie Lannister that we heard about when he was really, really one of the best sword fighters in the realm in his youth. We also have to consider the fact that the North may lose this battle and they will have to flee south after being defeated by the Night King. And that would make for a really interesting scenario, which actually concerns me for Brienne of Tarth and Jaime. I only see one of them getting out of this situation, out of this whole story alive. And I think if Brienne dies or Jaime dies, we can have a really interesting situation. Now, I do think it's more likely that Brienne dies because I think Jamie has some unfinished business with Cersei in King's Landing, but I'm really hopeful that they both survive and we get an epic battle in King's Landing as well. We're going to see a very different side of Jamie Lannister in Season 8, and I think it's safe to say that Jamie and Brienne fighting beside each other is going to be one of the best moments in Game of Thrones Season 8. But what do you all think? Will they both survive this encounter with the Army of the Dead in the North, or will one of them make it out alive? Will it be Jamie or will it be Brienne? Let me know your answers in the comments section and what you think is going to happen in Game of Thrones Season 8, Episode 4. Also, a big thank you to all of the people who have been supporting the channel through Patreon and for the Con of Thrones GoFundMe for 2018. The support has been insanely awesome lately, and I want to do a, a big thank you for you guys. So I got something special coming up for all of you as a nice little treat in the near future. And the links to my Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and GoFundMe are in the description of this video, so don't be shy and say hi. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Hype and love.